of Taiwan. I'm Ethan Liu with news from here in Taiwan and around the world. Universities across Taiwan are dropping their English requirements, going against the government's goal of boosting young people's proficiency in the language. This trend comes as schools across the country face declining enrollment rates. Hero Hughes reports. Since 2015, high schoolers across Taiwan have been taking the official high school English listening test as part of their university admissions process. But things are changing. Fewer colleges are asking prospective students to submit scores. In 2015, over 300 university departments required these test scores. But in 2024, there were just over 30 schools still asking for them. This year, National Taiwan Normal University became one of the latest institutions to drop this requirement. The university says another reason they decided to drop the requirement was because during the school's second round interview process for admissions, they already require applicants to take an oral English test. But as more universities continue to ditch the English listening requirement, some high school English teachers say the trend is inconsistent with the government's goal of increasing English proficiency among young people. There are other English proficiency tests available to students, like TOEIC, TOEFL, and IELTS. But high school teachers say the English listening test is more accessible to students, as it is more affordable and administered through high schools. The National Education Bureau says as Taiwan's birth rate declines, schools across the country will continue to face a growing enrollment problem, forcing more institutions to potentially drop even more admissions requirements. Eason Chen, Wesley Lewis, and Harrell Hughes for Taiwan Plus. Wildlife is thriving along the mountain trail in eastern Hualien's picturesque Taroko Gorge. The national park is still recovering from the massive magnitude 7.2 earthquake that struck in April, triggering landslides that cut off the trail and causing destruction around the country. Cindy Chi reports on the resilience of life in the gorge. Patrolling the Sakadang River Trail, these national park rangers are checking up on the local wildlife. Taroko National Park in eastern Hualien County suffered some of the worst damage from a magnitude 7.2 earthquake that struck Taiwan in April. Despite the earthquake's devastation of the gorge, officials report that the Sakatang River's ecology appears to have held on to its rich biodiversity. Rangers say they've been working to remove invasive species that have appeared in the river in recent years and they have more to do to protect the native ecology. But for now, at least, life finds a way, even in the face of some of Mother Nature's most extreme conditions. Scott Hong and Sani Chi for Taiwan Plus. Inside a coastal industrial park in central Taiwan stands the only glass temple in the world. It was built with the goal of being environmentally friendly and of being a spiritual and sustainable oasis. Cadence Karanta reports. At this temple in central Taiwan, over 70,000 pieces of glass are on display. It's the first temple made of glass in Taiwan and the world. The religious site is designed to be environmentally friendly. The glass helps save energy by reflecting sunlight, meaning less need for artificial lighting. This one-of-a-kind temple also shows off Taiwan's glass-making industry. The 
The temple is built inside an industrial park along Taiwan's west coast, home to many factories. Construction on the temple started in 2007, and it was officially opened five years later. Like many temples in Taiwan, it's dedicated to Mazu, the incredibly popular goddess of the sea. But besides its glass structure, this temple differs from other Mazu temples in other ways. Fish swim in ponds outside, which help to regulate humidity and collect dust. And the temple's outer walls display photos introducing Taiwan's culture and people. The hope is that the temple can provide an environmental and spiritual oasis for residents and visitors alike. Inside an industrial park, here is a place that connects faith, culture, industry, and sustainability. Devin Tsai and Cadence Quaranta for Taiwan Plus. For years, sea turtles in the waters of Rio de Janeiro's Guanabara Bay have been dying. But conservationists and citizen groups have successfully lobbied the Brazilian state's government to clean up the waters. And now they're seeing results. Jonathan Kaplan has the story. Rio de Janeiro's Ipanema and Copacabana beaches are Brazilian icons. But for decades, the surf just wasn't safe for swimming. The city's raw sewage flowed into nearby Guanabara Bay and kept beachgoers in Rio dancing on the sand. But the sea turtles that sheltered in the bay could not avoid the bacteria and virus-laden water. A Baía de Guanabara ela apresenta uma quantidade muito grande de tartarugas e em 2022 é, foi encontrado 75% das tartarugas da Baía de Guanabara com tumores decorrentes de uma doença chamada fibropapilomatose que está ligado diretamente com a qualidade de água aonde a tartaruga vive. Those tumors plagued the sea turtles. They'd grow around the turtles' eyes, mouth and flippers and eventually kill them. But then something changed. Sente que de 2023 e para 2024 observamos uma redução na ocorrência desses tumores. The state government made a major investment in how it handles its sewage and wastewater runoff. A melhora das da condição da da Bahia de Guanabara está diretamente ligada aos 2 bilhões de investimentos que já foram feitos pela Águas do Rio na recuperação, manutenção e ampliação do sistema de, de co coleta e tratamento de esgoto. The investments have kept over 800 million liters of sewage from being dumped into the bay each day. Water quality improved and so did turtle health. And then in 2023, for the first time in over a decade, Rio's beaches were declared safe for swimming. Entender que a gente só vai ter saúde quando o oceano tiver também saudável. E as tartarugas, elas são bioindicadores. A gente é monitorando a qualidade de vida das tartarugas, a gente tem uma noção de como está a nossa própria saúde. The turtles aren't totally in the clear yet. Teams of scientists are still checking in on the turtle population, tracking known individuals and removing tumors and other dangers. But researchers are hopeful and see their hard work paying off. Muitas muitas dessas tartarugas são recapturadas. A gente pode avaliar se cresceram, se estão mais pesadas, se emagreceram, se tem mais tumores, se tem menos tumores. E além disso, fazer a avaliação de metais pesados também para saber se a quantidade de contaminação por metais na água também é encontrada em tecido e no sangue. Rio's government took decisive action, and the results show: cleaner water healthier sea life, happier people. Leon Lien and Jonathan Kaplan for Taiwan Plus. Thank you for watching today's What's Up Taiwan. I'm Ethan Liu, take care, and I'll see you next time.